today I'm going to be doing a very requested video. This is my first nail tutorial that I'm doing on YouTube. I've gotten lots and lots of requests to do it through my blog, through Twitter, through Instagram, and through YouTube, so I hope you guys really enjoy it. I went with kind of a fun look. This is a splatter mani. And I just kind of went through and showed you like, like the colors that I used. It's a really easy tutorial, it was just kind of to ease me into it. But hopefully I'm going to be able to show you some other, you know, nail art type things that maybe I can do a tutorial on. If you have any requests for nail tutorials that you've seen either on the blog or just something in general you want to request, go ahead and leave that below and I will do my best to get to them. Okay guys, now on to the tutorial. So to get started, I usually use Vaseline and I just use a little brush and I put it around my nails. You can also use tape, which is usually the most common. I just happen to be out of tape. You can see I have my nails up on a white paper towel just so I don't make a mess. And my nails are a base of white, but you can obviously use any colors that you'd like. And I just go ahead and fill in around my cuticles. It helps the polish not stick. And then I go around and I clean up afterwards with some acetone. So the next step is getting my little tray ready. This is actually from a makeup company and you can find these in like the craft stores and things like that as well. It's just something that I happen to use and I might buy another one just for like mixing makeup. But these are pretty cheap. You can also use like a postcard or any kind of thing like that that you can just mix on top of. This is Essie Shake Your Money Maker. My yellow is Orly Glow Stick. My pink is Orly Passion Fruit. My orange is Jessie's Girl. And this is in the shade Crush. And my blue is Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear. And this is in Blew Me Away. So to get started, I use a couple of drops of each color. And I just put them in the little wells. This helps me keep them separated. You can see I use this for nail art. And you can see them in the middle. But I just go ahead and I go through and I put a little drop. Well, I just put a little bit of each color in there. Sometimes it's easier to do this as you go, but for video purposes, I just thought this would be the easiest. But nail polish does dry up and it will get gunky, so make sure that you don't put too much in there because it's just going to dry up and you're not going to be able to use it. Okay, so all my colors are all ready to go. And now I'm going to show you my straws. Um, the blue one is just a regular straw, just your standard run-of-the-mill straw. And the black one is from, like, cocktail drinks. So I'm starting with the blue one and I put it in uh, the yellow, but I wasn't loving the effect that it was giving me. Um, I'm used to using thinner polishes, but I decided not to go full neon for this one. I just didn't want to dig through my stash and wanted to use polishes I just got. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you blow really hard. You want to do short, hard breaths where you just like puff out really fast. And it's just easier to do it in spurts. So you can see I wasn't in love with this straw and I felt like I had to work harder and I just kind of wanted to show you the difference in the straws which is why I usually go with the shorter straws. Again, I get these at like Walgreens or Walmart or whatever at the end of the year. So here I am with the smaller straw. You can see it's just easier for me to use. I think it turns out better. I think it just looks more like you're pumping out air, like airbrushed color and I just really like the way this looks. So you just go ahead and you repeat that with each color and until you, you know, get your final result. So my green is thinner, you can kind of see because this is a neon. So if you use neons, you really don't have to do as much work. I just happen to not have all of mine with me. But you can kind of, you know, mess with your colors and you'll kind of learn what looks better and what spreads out better and things like that. And I also do have a couple of these straws just kind of sitting there that I ended up using, but you can clean them off in between too, it's just up to you. So once you get to the end, you want to go ahead and clean up around your edges with acetone. I went ahead and skipped this step. If you guys want to see how I clean up, just let me know and I'll include that in the next video or I'll do a video on how I clean up my nails. But it's pretty easy, especially with the Vaseline around it. You just want to go ahead and top it with a high shine top coat. 
Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I have loved this manicure so much. My husband loves it too. It just turned out so cool and it just, you know, ended up looking so neat. I'm really, really happy with it and I hope you are too. Remember to use any colors that you want and be original and be unique and do something a little bit different with your nails and have fun. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.